G'day gang, Danny here, how you going? Back in the Star Wars The Old Republic, hey Mako. Uh, we have to go, oh we got the underdogs, the Ugnaughts. Mako has discovered who your rival is on this step of the Great Hunt. A band of Ugnaughts building a war droid in the Duros Sector. Confront the Ugnaughts inside the Ugnaught clan warehouse in the Duros Sector. The Duros Sector being over there, okay. So. Rata Mata Wonga. All right, let's sell some stuff. See anything you like? Sell some junk. Oh, she gets a small influence gain from that. Okay, we'll give that to Mako. Uh, sell that. Pop that ring down there. Sell that. Sell that. Slave girl hat slipper. What? What? It's all this stuff. Ah, oh, what about? All right then. Come again. <laughs> bit of bit of uh, old school Princess Leia from uh, from that movie. You know that movie with the hut guy, the old Jabba the Hutto. Something about a Jedi that returns. You know, like, you know that one. Anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm not going to do that to you, Mako. Uh, let's go. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go to the taxi. We're going to take a little ride. And we're going to find these Ugnaughts, which are uh, in some sort of beast. Some sort of mechanical beast. Apparently. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. To the Duro Sector. Actually, Mako's got some nice gear on at the moment. Getting her, getting her slowly bringing her in. To becoming a full uh, person wearing Mandalore armor. You don't know that I'm not Mandalorian. You don't know. You're all just assuming. Just like all these people. That was a bit of a strange trip. It looked like we just went around in a circle. Hell are we going? Mate, how would that feel going straight down like that? Bit of a roller coaster ride. Okie dokie, here we are. So we now go. Ah, oh, there's a lift here. All the way to the end. Such wide open areas. Do our citizens. Can I actually attack these guys? Oh, what's this? Anti-Empire Organizers. Okay. Watch out for those fellas. Transient. Unstable transient. Now destination a little bit further on. Go down here. People that won't attack us, at least not yet. Anti-Empire rebels. Let's see if we can avoid trouble. Until we run headlong here, head on into it. Taking shots, they've noticed.
Even though Astro Mix, uh... No, oh, we're straight into it now. Hey, guys. <laughs> just firing blaster rifle. Blaster fire, just in case. Just in case the job didn't get done. Between the two of us, you guys don't stand a chance. Now, let's see if I can stim out. Uh, maybe just endurance. I think that's all I got anyway. Hmm. Oh, Ugnaught's in the back. Slat... Slat... Blat... Gornik... Ugmir... <laughs> oh, you clowns. You clowns. I don't know, Derek, what, did, what would you do with this thing? I don't even see how it's possible for you to beat me with that thing. I mean, I would just sidestep and you'd be stuffed. Take you five years to turn that thing around. Okay. Okay. Just <laughs> uh, return to Galren. Well, that's easy. That was an easy <laughs> fight. Uh, back to the slippery slopes. Cantina. I thought we were gonna have some action there. Guys weren't even finished. I was looking forward to cracking that tin can and seeing him fall out one by one. So, uh, what? Everything taken care of? No more problems? Huh? Good. Good. My people are looking for signs the Eidolon is on the move. So far, it's quiet. I think he's watching. Not the sort of behavior I was hoping for. Not if you want to meet him anytime soon. And I want that very much. See, if I get rid of the Eidolon, the cartel makes me a full-fledged boss with my own clan. And all we gotta do? Is take out one little assassin and his pet corporation. What a fragged deal, huh? Mako said the hunter will take me away from here. I help find the Eidolon, I get off Narshada. Mako said so. Mako said that, huh? I just said I'd talk to you. Anulis helped us and he wants off this trash heap. I don't blame him. All I'd have to do is drop him off at the next spaceport. Please, I owe it to him. <sighs> I hate it here. Everyone uses me, insults me, I'm just garbage. I hate being scared all the time. Don't you work for Galeran? What do I care? I'll be running my own clan soon. He'll be back. I always come back. Perfect, so it's settled. He can come with us. We're dropping him off first thing. No problem. I'm sure he'll do fine. Thanks so much for this. I owe you one. Now that's settled. Let's get back to the job of driving Eidolon security out of business. 
One of Eidolon security slogans is, your secrets are our secrets. So what if you were to make all those confidential records public? It has potential. Potential? What, you friggin' kidding me? Just picture it. Every contract, every shady deal, all the security specs of every single one of the Eidolon's clients at anyone's disposal. Hey, Anuli, what do I pay you for, huh? How do we put Eidolon security's records on the Holonet? That's real hard. Eidolon's Holonet transceivers are in the network access sector. Heavily guarded. You gotta slice into those to get to their records. But gotta get past these encryption programs first. You need Z's codes from him. Also a top-notch slicer to access Eidolon's network. Z's a Bith engineer. Best Holonet security expert money can buy. He won't just give you those codes. I can be very persuasive. I've seen that firsthand, friend. I'd give you whatever you wanted. Z's currently consulting for a Republic company called Nebula Communications. I'd suggest you blast your way into Nebula's corporate office in the industrial sector, grab some security slug, force him to tell you where Z's at. Done and done. And new pants. Okay. Pants are on. Raid Nebula Communications. Okie dokie, uh, catching some, catching some Z's. The elusive Eidolon, oh what the, <laughs> got to, got spun around there five times. Uh, the elusive Eidolon on our shit eyes, your target, in the great hunt. Your plan is to do damage to his legitimate business in order to draw him out. To do that, you need the security codes. And that requires you to track down a Beth named Z Clinton who works at Nebula Communications. Head to Nebula Communications. Head to Nebula Communications in the upper industrial sector and find the bit. Find the bit though. Can do, I think. I hope. Pads are currently open for business. Going down that way to the industrial area. Okay, coming into the industrial area or oh, sector. Here we go. Uh, we... Alright, so let's go. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Let's start. Let's begin. We need to go all the way. Snake all the way around there. Oh, there's a similar type of vehicle. It's got a little front area on it. Some foils in the front. That's what I mean. initially I wanted that, like I want a full on speeder bike, but I am um, really quite happy with this one, to be honest. And if you're wondering, I got this from the Galactic Trade Network, uh, the equivalent of your auction house, I guess. Don't think it was too expensive. Might have been like a... 100k, maybe? Wasn't too bad. Certainly more vehicles, uh, a lot more expensive. Yeah, it's quite, quite similar to this. So that one's a little bit more sharpish in the front and back. Okay, we're coming up to our, our objectives very soon. Just wondering if I should try to take out some of these punks. Although, because we're not actually in the mission area, I don't think they'd count as a bonus. But let's have a look. Nope, nothing about a bonus yet.
going through here. See what happens when we cross over. Defeat Nebula security droids and officers. Oh, there's one right there. Trouble on the way. Uh, one security fella down. Pretty clear around here, though. In the entrance way. Got a bunch of security guards here. I love how she just like lobs a grenade over the top. There's like rockets going out, there's a rail cannon going. Everything. The only thing we're missing now is like a flamethrower. Even though that <laughs> she was on fire. Oh, uh, why am I laughing? Clear back here. Guys just got no idea. Four or fifteen. Is there one more person around the corner? Otherwise we're gonna go into our objective, I think. Alright, we'll just go take out there's a lot over there on the side. I'll drop them, that way we get the bonus. Bonus complete, level up. Now level 24. Very good. Security droids. Give him the rocket. We don't keep a lot of credits here. Just take a couple of deep breaths and tell me where Z is. The Holonet security guy? Is he in trouble? That's not your business. Right. What am I saying? Z's at the Imperial Spaceport. He's on his way to Mechas 3 for a business meeting. He's probably already gone. I gave you what you wanted. You're not gonna kill me, are you? Disappear. Now. Right. I'm out of here. Did- oh. <laughs> I thought like we let him go and then Mako's like, ah, ah, and just ran off. Take that clown or down. Alright, Z, where are you? We're gonna get... You find out from the security guard officer at Nebula Communications that Z is about to leave the planet. Track down Z Klin inside Doki Bay at Mazenti Spaceport. Uh, Mazenti, Mazenti, Mazenti Spaceport. Alright, so if we go there, that should take us right to him, hopefully. Or close by. That's Doki Bay 27. No, not there. Oh, here. Docking Bay 27. 
security guard. Doesn't have a problem with us crossing through. There's Zeklin. Do I have the correct man? Security expert Z? I just need the codes to Eidolon Security's encryption programs. I'm quite eager to meet the Eidolon. Will you keep quiet about our little chat? You're at least catching on to what you'd cause, but you need to continue. Go to the choice, can we go choose, sir? You might, uh, cheap on that, uh. With a little good fortune, maybe the Eidolon will die before he gets to you. Chokchim wampa la hagwa jikuska, hompa sa topiska. Alright, now we go back to Galaran. Oh, the ship just completely disappeared. He must have hit that cloaking device. Alright, uh, as soon as I've used that, I'm just going to take a little bit longer for us to scoot on back. Back to the ride first. Anything to Please sell? All products, only as intended. Be well. Sell some junk. Catch a ride. Where's my ride? Over here. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. All right, back to the promenade. So. The elusive Eidolon is your target, yes. Uh, now that you have the security codes to the Eidolon's network, Galaran should know the next step in drawing him out. Return to Galaran in the roughneck room at the Head Butt Hari's Cantina in the promenade. Head Butt, hey, hang on, what? Head Butt Hari's? That's a different place. It sounds like it's a different place. Headbutt Hari's. We went to a. We were going to a different place before. What did he just say? Nothing subversive, Master. Shall we go for a walk? Slippery slopes, Cantina. What's Headbutt Hari? This is a slippery slope scale. I'm confused. <laughs> Something's not quite right. Oh, I lost my pointer. I'm back with Z's codes. Ha! Wish I could have seen the look on Z's face. I knew we good. Everything looks legit. Beautiful work. Z's code is like music. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let, uh, yeah, isolate the ones we'll need and hand the pad back to our hunter friend here. Eidolon Security's transceiver codes are marked. Easy to spot. They'll disable the encryption programs. 
No problem. Why did I need these codes again? They're going to get you access to all of Eidolon Security's confidential files. Once we get those, the Eidolon's personal business will be everybody's business. <laughs> Eat that, you ganks! <laughs> okay, so on to phase two of our plan to scrag Eidolon Security's rep and drive their clients away. Anuli? Got to access Eidolon Security's data transceivers. Input these codes, then slice into Eidolon's network, download their files. Here's a holonet transmitter. Once you've accessed Eidolon's network, put this on the transceiver. It'll let Anuli upload the file straight to the holonet. Eidolon Security's entire database is on the holonet. That's bad. Real bad. For them. The transceivers are in the network access sector. Security's gonna be tight. And the Eidolon will have his best men protecting those transceivers. Feel free to kill as many as you want. 